Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to Two Blessed. Today, I am decorating my Christmas tree. Um, you may have already seen a few clips of that. Um, and I thought I would just share with you guys a little bit of how I decorate a tree because I feel like I do it a little differently than maybe most people do. Um, like I don't use ribbons, which seems to be a big trend this year especially. So I just thought I would show you some of the things that I do when I'm decorating a tree. Um, if you get any glimpses of my living room behind this tree, yes, it's a mess. Okay, we'll just move on from there. <laughs> so um, what I started doing with the tree is I have my ornaments divided into two different bins and my bin here is empty because I've already put all of those ornaments on my tree. So I start out with my plain ornaments. Um, now my tree has a theme, basically snowflakes. Um, and so I use a lot of white and silver, but my husband prefers some of the brighter colors. And so what we've started doing the past couple years is I've started adding some color into my snowflake tree. So, for example, I bought some jewel tone ornaments, like I've got a red one here, there's a green one, I've got some purple and some blue, and what I do with those is I tuck those into the center of the tree so that as you're looking at the tree, you kind of just get little glimpses of those colors, and I think that's really pretty. Um, and then also some of our other ornaments, like this one here, has some burgundy and some green. So some of the other ornaments do have colors in also. But when you, still when you look at the tree, you kind of get the snowflakes and the white and the silver and little bits of blue. Um, so I did my more plain ornaments first and then the rest of like the ball type ornaments is, is what's on the tree right now. Some of them are a little more decorative like this um, but that's what I've got on the tree and it looks very irregular at the moment <laughs> because it is. Um, so now I'm going to start filling in with other ornaments and then the very last thing I put on is all of my snowflakes. And <laughs> this tree, um, I had planned to have the tree done before Thanksgiving and that didn't happen because I had to replace all the lights on this tree this year. And if you look down here at the bottom, you can see that part of my tree is not lit because I ran out of lights. And we're gonna get probably at least two more strands, but I haven't been able to get them yet. Um, these lights that I put on, I bought at Target and they are the Philips brand. So I don't want to put different lights on the rest of the tree, but I haven't had a chance to get to Target and get any more lights. So we're just going to kind of leave the bottom the way it is. And once it's, once it's decorated, uh, the tree is going to go further back against the wall. And then I think that bottom part won't be quite so noticeable, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. So I've got... Um, I'll show you some full shots of the tree, obviously, later, but I've got my star on top. Like I said, I've got the ornaments that are inside the tree, and then a few that are towards the outside, and then I'm going to start adding in some of our special ornaments um, and things like that. Um, I try to add at least a couple of new ornaments every year. They're not always super special or super personalized, but I just try to add to our collection every year, um, you know, just so that we have new ones. So a lot, um, let's see, like I bought this one maybe last year. A lot of them come from Dollar Tree um, and Dollar General sometimes has really, really cute Christmas decor. Um, that's probably where most of them come from. And then every once in a while I might see one I like, like at Walmart or something like that. So sometimes I'll add those in. Uh, da -da -da, let's see. I was going to show you a few. Um, actually, here's some that I got 
These I got from my sister. She made these for me a couple of years ago. And they're just like wood slices. And then she uh, burned these snowflake images onto them. So those work really well with my snowflake theme, of course. Let's see. And I'll probably show you some more as, as I'm pulling them out and putting them on the tree. I might show them to you. Um, let me grab these ones here. Okay, so these are some of our very special uh, ornaments that are personalized. So for example, this one, I actually bought this I think we'd been married a few years when I bought this one, but it says I do. And then it just had this banner where you could add your wedding date. So I added that on there, June 9th, 2012. So we have that one. Um, then there's been, I, I didn't add years on these and I kind of wish I had now so that I could remember just what year I got them. Um, but I, start, I started finding these ornaments with our last name. And so I think I bought this one two years ago, which has our last name in it. And this one's metal, it's very large, um, but that, that one's really pretty. And then I'm pretty sure I got this one from the same company. And I think I got this one last year. It also has our last name. I don't know if you can see that one, it looks really dark, but this one is wood. And it's a little bit, a little bit smaller than that metal one. Um, and then this one, I know I've had this one for a couple of years now, I think. Now that I said that, it may have just been last year. I don't really remember. So this one has our last name on it. And then they had it so that you could add the individual names of each of your family members and they kind of printed those on the background. So I did this one for our family. So it has my name, it has my husband's name. And then if you have watched some of my previous videos. If you've been around for a while, you may know that we had a miscarriage back in 2012. And then after that, we were advised that it probably wasn't a good idea to try to have any more children. So, you know, that, that was our only child. And so we have commemorated him in a few different ways. And I did that on this ornament. So it has it has my name, it has Amy, and then it has my husband, Steve, and then it has the name that we use to refer to our baby, and then it also has mommy and daddy on it, and so I just thought that was really special, so we have that one, and then my very favorite ornament that we have, speaking of our baby, um, I actually got this one after Christmas in 2012, I hadn't planned to get it, but I actually just found it on sale and I thought it would be um, a cute idea. So this ornament says 2012, baby's first Christmas, and then, you know, where typically you would put a photo of your child, we had our ultrasound picture. So I put that in there and I love this ornament. Uh, it makes me cry, but I love it. <laughs> and so this, Typically, when I pull out the ornament bins and I open them, this is usually the first one. It's right on top, right where I know I'm gonna see it first because it's also the last one that I put away. Um, because after Christmas, I don't, I don't wanna put it away. I wanna look at it as long as I can. So it's always the last one I put in and the first one I take out. So. Those are just some of the ones that are very special to us. And then, like I said, I like to add at least one new ornament every year just to grow our collection. Um, and I don't know, I'm trying to think if I got any new ones this year. I know I got a couple ornaments that I have used in the kitchen, but I don't know if I got an actual new tree ornament this year. So I'll have to make sure that I do that. Um, so I'm just going to continue with putting, putting ornaments on. And like I said, if I come across something special or something that I specifically want to point out, I will do that. 
And then after I put all of the ornaments, or most of the ornaments on the tree, I shouldn't say all, most, um, then I have a couple of different garlands that I like to add, and I will show you how I do that. I thought I would show you, you may have noticed as I'm taking ornaments out, I've had them in Ziploc bags, and what I do is I organize them kind of by type. Um, on a lot of my ornaments, I have several of the same. So like, for example, this little ice skate, I have probably five or six of those. And so I put the similar ones in a bag like this so that as I'm putting them on the tree, I can scatter, scatter them a little more easily <laughs> to make sure that they're kind of spread throughout the tree. So that's what I'm doing um, with the little Ziploc bags as I'm putting them out. give you a little overview of what the tree is looking like now. So here's the star at the top. I've got the lights turned off right now and that's typically what I do at this point. So I have finished putting the regular ornaments on. Now obviously you can see there's still a lot of gaps. <laughs> the ornaments are very uneven and just sort of stuck around on the tree. Um, but that's kind of, like I said, that's kind of what I do at this point because now here is my stash of snowflakes. So I've got uh, a large number of these big clear snowflakes. Um, like I said, I've got everything separated into these little bags just to make it easier. Then I've got this bunch of silver snowflakes. Um, I've got a bunch of like jeweled or beaded, beaded and mirror and fancy snowflakes. Um, here's all my clear ones. Here's a couple of fancier clear ones. Here's some small clear ones. <laughs> so you can see I've got a lot of snowflakes. Then I've got a few blue ones. These are new ones that I bought last year and these are so pretty because they're like a dark blue. And then I actually have some blue icicles. I didn't bring those over here. Those are in another part of the room. So, um, so here's my big, my big stack of clear snowflakes. So these snowflakes are gonna eat up a lot of space on that tree. And as you look at the tree with the snowflakes on it, it's gonna mostly look like snowflakes. most of the snowflakes on. I still do have some left. I've still got my blue icicles and then I've still got my silver snowflakes but I think I'm gonna save these for the very end because I really want these to be like forward on the tree like on the very outside so they're really very well seen. 
So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on some of my garland. Um, and I usually do that towards the end or at the very end. And I have two different kinds of garland. So the first one that I'm going to do is this one. And it's like silver and blue jingle bells, as you can hear. Um... And in all honesty, I can't remember where I got this. I bought it somewhere years and years ago. So I really don't know where I found it, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, I have probably like six or eight of these. And it's not really enough to go around the entire tree. So I just kind of place it sort of strategically so that it looks like it's around the entire tree. <laughs> um, and I'm just noticing now that this one is like, somehow the two ends are connected together. So I'm gonna have to untangle these before I get started. So I will be back as soon as I get my garlands all out and untangled and then we'll get started putting them in the tree. Okay, I've got my garlands untangled. I thought I had six of these. I've actually only got four. And this one is two of them that I tied together because the end of one of them broke, so I just connected them. So this one kind of goes around the bottom of the tree, and then the other two, I just kind of try to space them throughout the rest of the tree to just make it look good. So I'm just gonna get started on this. <laughs> Okay, so I got my Jingle Bell garland in there. And like I said, you can see it. there's not a lot of it, <laughs> especially with this tree being so big. But it just adds a little bit, and I like it. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, then the other thing that I do that I just added last year is I bought these little white feather boas. They're just little thin you know, little narrow ones. And I added some of these to my tree last year and I just loved the way it looked. So I am going to start putting these in. guys I'm coming back to show you the completed tree it is actually the next day <laughs> I finally finished last night and I was tired so I ended up just going to bed um, but here is the completed tree and I love it it turned out so pretty I'm gonna walk around over here this is a new I don't know if I said this before this is a new spot for us to put our tree. We don't typically have it here, but my husband suggested it one day, and I really love how it looks. Because this is the corner. You can see there's our front door. I forgot to move my bucket of cat food. So <laughs> there's my cat food bucket. But this, so this is right by our front door, and this corner... On the other side of that wall is the kitchen, but around the corner is the dining room. And so the way the tree is positioned here, you can see the tree 
from pretty much every room and I just love that. So this is, like I said, this is the completed tree. Um, I may come back and add some more just still pictures. At the end, I'll probably try to get some pictures once it gets dark and just show you a little bit more of how it looks, but that's the tree. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.